welcome to Second Harvest Food Bank. My name is Jeff Rebelke, Chief Operations Officer. We hope you have a great experience with us today. We want to talk a little bit about safety before we get to work. We're going to talk about two really important things in the building, proper lifting procedures and proper pallet handling procedures. Let's talk about the pallets first. I've got a stack of pallets here. If I need a pallet off of the stack, I'm going to get myself perpendicular to the stack. I'm going to pull it, get it to a teeter point or a pivot point. I'm going to let it pivot, be careful of my feet, and I'm going to let it drop to the floor. In order to move the pallet throughout the building, it's best to push it from behind or stay up near the front and keep your grip right on the side to avoid twisting. Twisting will cause back injuries for you and we want to avoid that. So I'm going to push this straight up and I'm going to push it over my stack over here. I'm finished with this pallet now. I've got my stack over here. I want to make sure I have good, good housekeeping habits going on. So I'm going to lift this pallet up and I'm going to let it tip right on top of the stack. I'm going to make sure I bend my knees and keep my back straight while I do this. Take a look. These pallets, the white pallets, are going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds a piece. The blue or red pallets that we have in the facility are anywhere from 70 to 80 pounds a piece. Again, if you want a team lift, please do so. If you need help from one of our other volunteers in the facility, please ask. We've got plenty of help that'll be around for you. Now let's talk about safe lifting practices. I've got a variety of size boxes here. I've got an empty pallet over here. We're going to move some boxes from this pallet over to the empty pallet. The first thing I want to make sure I do is test the weight of any box. Find out what you're dealing with first and foremost. Some other things you need to remember. Keep your head up while you're lifting. Keep your back straight. Bend your knees. Have a good grip on opposite corners and you're going to be in good shape. So I've tested the weight. I'm in good position here. I'm going to lift up, bending my knees. I'm going to take it over to this gear. Bend my knees and put it down slowly and carefully. If I have herky-jerky motions, that's never going to be good for my back. I want to move this box as well. I do not want to reach across the box. I want to move my feet. Again, test the weight, cross grip, bend the knees, head up, straight back. In the same position as I drop the box as well. I've got some other boxes of different size here. I've not worked with them. Test the weight. Smaller box, heavier weight, same procedures. Cross grip, head up, back straight. You wanna make sure you're using the same procedures no matter what the size of the box is or the weight of the box. If you're picking from lower to higher, you should really use the same processes. Test the weight of the box, bend your knees, keep your back straight, keep your head up, cross corners grip, keep the box in your power zone. Your power zone is from your shoulders to your waist and you're going to be in great shape. If you can follow those tips, you're going to be in great shape today.